morning and thank you for your interest in our um, work. So uh, I will have a, take a few minutes to guide you through our poster on the validation of our HTGH platform for accurate and sensitive biomarker uh, discovery. So first of all, let uh, me introduce myself. So I'm Sabrina Danella, and I work at Fioralis, a leading group in biomarker uh, discovery and qualification. Uh, our group is uh, focusing mainly on uh, biomarker discovery and uh, qualification for clinical applications. And we cover every step uh, in our activities from uh, marker discovery to market. So for this, we cover uh, we have a lot of bioanalytical uh, platforms and uh, facilities for asset development of production, uh, all in a ISO certified environment. And we also intervene at other steps uh, like uh, data analysis and regulatory uh, affairs. So for this biomarker development, so we use a lot of uh, state of the art tools. Uh, that we use for pro, um, prof, uh, profiling uh, at the proteomic level, but also for uh, metabolomic and lipidomic profiling and gene expression. And that's uh, the later point on which we are going to focus with our HTG ethic platform. So talking about these technologies, uh, it has uh, major advantages that uh, we will talk about. The first one is that this method is uh, extraction free, which, uh, el which eliminates the bases uh, from RNA extractions, and it also allows to work with really minimal simple input uh, requirements. So as you can see uh, on the table, uh, we can work with this technology with as low as 15 microliters of uh, plasma from patient samples. And we also can use other types like packed chain DNA uh, RNA tubes or frozen tissue cell lines and also FFP tissues, which can be really interesting for old uh, studies. So uh, looking at the chemistry of this technology, uh, it's, it's, it is based on a, a nucleus protection probe assay. So basically how it works is that uh, in uh, the panels we use, there will be a protection probe specific for each target we are looking for. And these probes are coupled to little wings arms and uh, will, uh, will um, um, bind with wingman and target RNA. After this, uh, we will have a digestion based on the activity of the S1 nuclease that will uh, di digest all unbound RNA and probes. And a second step, step of hydrolysis will eliminate target RA, uh, RNA. So uh, at this uh, step, we will have uh, only uh, the protection probes left that were bound to target RNA. And these probes are the ones that we are go going to quantify. So in the first step, we will add adapters uh, with barcode by PCR. And then uh, these fragments will be uh, ready for sequencing. So to resume this technology, you can see here the workflow, uh, how it works. So we are just uh, starting from samples that we prepare to, to put in the HTG processor. And in this uh, processor, the step one to three of the chemistry will, will happen. So it will uh, take around 20 hours, and we will uh, be able to process uh, 96 samples at one, in once, at one time. After this run, we will simply add barcodes by PCR and uh, quantify our library, and then we will um, sequence it uh, through next generation sequencing. After the run, uh, simply by retrieving the FASTQ files, we will uh, process them in a HTG parser software, and we will have a result uh, count for each uh, RNA that was targeted by the panel. So in, with this experiment, we can uh, look uh, at up to 2,500 targets in one sample. So with this technology, we have uh, various panels uh, available. As you can see uh, here in the bottom, uh, we have a panel uh, available for uh, oncology biomarkers, so that the mRNA uh, uh, panel, uh, which consists of 2,560 genes, uh, 
belonging to 24 groups and pathways relevant in oncology. There is also a nimeno onco um, drug response panel that has targets uh, little less genes, around 540, and uh, for other um, um, diseases, we also have, for example, the lymphoma-associated gene assay. Now, uh, this uh, technology not only allows to to look for uh, gene expression on mRNA level, but also at non-coding RNA like microRNAs. And there is a world transcriptome uh, assay that detects 200, 2048 miRNAs uh, at one time, and that is the panel we use to validate our platform um, on our site. So what we did for validation uh, is two different things. The first one was to compare this technique with another one, the qPCR exequent miRNA panel. So we processed eight samples in duplicate, so with these both methods. And as you can see here uh, on the graph, we saw that there was a really good correlation between uh, on miRNA uh, expression with these both methods. The other thing we did was to look for our HTG uh, reproducibility. So uh, one uh, sample was uh, processed four times, three times in the US by HTG molecular that developed these technologies on different uh, days, operators, instruments, and one time by us uh, in our site uh, in France. And as you can see on the charts presented here, is that uh, between all the sets, we had the really good correlations on the results, uh, with the correlations being uh, over 0 0.99. So this shows that uh, this uh, technique is really uh, reproducible and that the extraction-free process um, is an advantage. So, and lastly, to conclude, I want to present you a little example of a study where we used this uh, miRNA panel. So this study uh, had, the, had the purpose of validating uh, a miRNA signature that was previously um, identified as predictive. And we realized this study uh, with 15 microliters of uh, plasma from 75 patients that had negative outcome uh, for a disease and compared it with 67 patients with positive outcome. And so with this kit, we screened all the 2,000 mRNA and also 24 controls with uh, this HTG effect technology. And as a result, we identified 313 microRNAs that uh, were above um, uh, quantitative uh, threshold, and we could confirm that the previously identified uh, miRNAs had a, a predictive value, and we established a predictive model with a sensitivity of um, 0, uh, 0.74. So to conclude, I, um, uh, we saw that this HTG uh, EFTEC uh, platform uh, offers really cost-effective and reliable uh, and uh, is a real, reliable tool for accurate and sensitive RNA measurement, and uh, it is a really um, an invaluable tool for biomarker discovery thanks to its low uh, sample input requirements and its extraction-free process. So I thank you for your attention, and I hope uh, you enjoyed this process. Thank you. <laughs>